So that is what I'm doing. I'm shouting into my computer, even though nobody is here, but you are there. That is always important. And we are very happy to see you. And, and uh, I am finally happy to say that soon I will be the only orange faced monster with a weird suit and bad hair that you will ever have to look at again. Ha ha ha. Yes. So we'll, let us get started here. Um, Right, that was okay. Hmm? Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Yes, I want to start because we have so much to give you tonight. And up first, yes, up first, we have a puppet artist and set designer from Korea working in Chicago. Here is Jaron Sun with Put Your Hands Up! Ha ha ha! Good even to you all. The dish of the day is Titus Andronicus. It's a rather time intensive story, sorry, recipe. So gird thy loins and lend thy ear. Here doth approach the noble General Swine. Oh, no, I beg your pardon. General Titus, coming back from the victorious ten-year war with the wicked poultry, er, the Goths, the great Titus, with his ample and juicy hands, takes the queen of the Goths and her three sons to Rome. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, there Titus butchers and roasts one prince of the Goths. Mmm, mm, mm. this juicy pork, sorry, Titus, also has four precious sons and a beautiful daughter. So the queen of the Goths, while captive, seduces the emperor of Rome and becomes the queen of Rome as well. Seeking vengeance for her son, she orders her two sons to murder the fiancé of Titus's daughter. Cut out her tongue and slice off her hands as well. Voila! 
Moreover, the queen forges a letter framing Titus's two sons for the murder of the emperor's beloved brother. <laughs> I know, I know, so many sons and daughters and brothers are getting involved, and it's getting even bloodier and gorier and tastier. Mm. <clears throat> the enraged emperor chops off the heads of Titus's two sons and sends them to Titus. <laughs> Look what has arrived. Surprise. <laughs> or mad, Titus vows revenge for his daughter and sons. First, Titus kidnaps the queen's two sons and hangs them upside down. Titus then slits open their throats and drains them of blood until they die. <laughs> it's for the ultimate freshness. <laughs> then with the freshly obtained meat, Titus bakes a pie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, disguised as a chef, <laughs> Titus serves the pie to the queen and the emperor of Rome, pretending to plead with the emperor for what has been done to his daughter. Titus suddenly stabs his own daughter to death. <laughs> he stabs his own daughter to death. Then, without hesitation, Titus gores the neck of the perturbed queen. The enraged emperor stabs Titus. Oh, I die. Oh. But Titus, with his last moiety of strength. Can I get a meat pie? You can keep the change. I'm a moose, if you could not tell, and my name is Alberta, and I would like to know who stole my watch? I used to have a watch, and now I don't. Now, oh, wait, hey, I can watch this. Ah, next up, we have a puppet artist and a theater artist, and they're both the same person, and they're attending university in New Jersey. Here is. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. I'm. I have a little bug in my ear that. No, it real. I'm a moose, so it happens. I have a little bug in my ear that is telling me that I need to stretch out. So uh, this would be a good time to. Uh, if you've been sitting around your house all day and you have not gotten uh, much exercise by going outside because there's a pandemic. Uh, you can go uh, touch toesies and uh, reach for the sky and touch toesies and reach for the sky and uh, shuffle this way and shuffle that way and twist your antlers and uh, then you get to introduce a puppet act. So next we have a theater and puppet artist attending university in New Jersey here with his high strung puppet troupe is TJ Jacobs with Fugsy and Friends. Ah! Ba 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 
Bugsy and friends in the box. Exercise for the week. Okay, what else? Well, what else can I do on here? Oh, here we go. Da 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 Jump to the top? <clears throat> no, no, I am not tall enough for that. All right, well, whatever's going on here, I, I'm done with it. I'm, I'm going. <clears throat> ah, ah, dear God, what? <clears throat> what? Oh no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Okay, this I I I cannot be trapped. There's there's gotta be there's gotta be some way out of here. Okay, maybe I can get reach the top of the frame. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, maybe I can I can come up and through here. Is there any way? Please. I can't, I can't be stuck in here. Oh, uh, 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 hey, oh, what's up? What's going on, man? I, I, I was walking around, and now I'm, now I'm here in this, in this, in this, in this box. Oh yeah, that, uh, that kind of happens around here. What? Oh yeah, you know, you're just sometimes you're just walking around, and you, uh, you find yourself in a, in a little frame. Mm -hmm. yeah. You just you just wander into it? Oh yeah, yeah, all the time. I've I've been here for uh, quite a while now. It... What? Oh yeah, you know I've just been trapped. <laughs> it, it's the life now these days. It, you just you just stay in here and you're fine with that? Yeah, with, with, there's not too much to too much to worry about here. You just sit here and and stare. What? Yeah, there's a there's actually a whole lot of other people right on the other side of this little this little plate of glass. What? There's first of all, there's glass there. Oh yeah, yeah, a lot. And there's a whole lot of people with their own little squares that they're in too. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh no, you you can see them if you if you if you try hard enough. This is a this is just the way things are now. Well, um. Hi out there. I certainly hope that this uh, links all down at the bottom here. 
is not the uh, mean that um hey, can they see that out there links hall uh this little um name here that this it has nothing to do with sausages just wanted you to know that uh, i have absolutely nothing anyway <clears throat> hi my name is archibald and i am a pig with the noah Jeanette's puppet company and i have a public service announcement for all of you going outside in these times you are probably wearing a mask but are you wearing it correctly take your two fingers and poke them into your nose do they go in? Then you are wearing your mask incorrectly. Are they stopped by a piece of fabric? Then you are wearing your mask correctly. If you can see your nostrils, you are doing it wrong. Nostrils are disgusting. Put yours away. This has been a mask public service announcement from the Nogenex Puppet Company. And now on to our next piece. <clears throat> Here we have a multidisciplinary theater artist from Nashville, Tennessee, who is currently based in New York. I give you Amanda Card and Figs, a love story. Mutualism can be defined as an interdependency between organisms of two different species in which each benefits. Mutualistic arrangements are most likely to develop between organisms with widely different living requirements. Neither member can survive successfully without the other. And so it is with the fig and the wasp. The wasp is born inside the fig. Already pregnant, she loads herself up with pollen and leaves her birthplace in search of a home where she can rest, relax, and start a family. No thanks. I'll pass. Not quite. What a dump. A ranch house? <sighs> home sweet home. There's no door. Luckily, her head is the perfect shape for burrowing. She digs and digs and digs, losing her wings and antenna in the process. But that's all right. This is her forever home. As a housewarming gift, the wasp gives the fig the pollen that she carried from her birthplace, and the fig gives her a place to rest and give birth. The wasp's babies leave home as soon as they can, like mother, like daughter. And then the wasp, having given life to her children and to the fig, dies in her forever home as the fig's flowers bloom.
To thank the wasp for her sacrifice, the fig tree fruits at random throughout the year to make homes for her children and her children's children. Life continues, and the fig will care for her offspring alongside its own. Some of its seeds will turn into trees, which will grow more and more forever homes. And somewhere, right now, a newborn wasp is searching for their forever home. You will see periodically throughout the night that my friends are going to pop in, say something either uh, 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 dumb or very profound, or possibly it won't make any sense at all. Uh, I don't know what they're going to say. I don't even know if they know what they're going to say. But uh, in between, to give our uh, tech person, who is the wonderful Yao, some time to switch from either live or tape, uh, you will have me or our uh, creatures who look quite a bit like me uh, because our uh, designer is not that creative. Anyway, they're going to come in and say little small things. Uh, <clears throat> uh, like the following. These things are good. Lynx Hall is good. They produce many wonderful things. Rough House is great. Rough House, you should look them up. Rough House is uh, fantastic. But what, in my personal opinion, the best one of the lot is the Puppet Slam Network, because the Puppet Slam Network lifts up and supports puppetry all around the country. And that is a wonderful thing, because every community has puppet weirdos uh, like myself and like all the other people you're going to see tonight who are just jonesing to get their uh, creativity out, but still not be seen by the audience, maybe. So they want uh, everybody to know what they do, but they don't want them to look at them. So puppetry and the Puppet Slam Network can be found uh, just by opening up your window and shouting or uh, what I like to call Googling. Yes, uh, so Puppet Slam Network, Lynx Hall and Rough House are wonderful things. Next up, now that I have remembered where I am, <clears throat> Aja is a Chicago-based artist originally from Philadelphia. Here is her piece called Dear Albert. Hmm.
Searching for Krampus. In the time of Yule, I'll recall to you a strange event that happened to me. The frosted snow began to fall and pull my heart into melancholy. Though the house was bright and filled with light, my demeanor was dark and sour. My mother, intractable in her yuletide glee, clicked her tongue at my visage so dour. Young girls who behave like imps are forbidden yuletide treats. Beware the Krampus, behind the pines he tiptoes and creeps. He waits for children with moods dark as pitch, and then he'll come for you, all teeth and horns and chains and sticks. I scoffed. Mother, I am a girl, twelve years gone, and I know you deceive. Stories and nonsense, fables and fiction, all meant to mislead. My mother flipped her hair and lifted her chin. Don't believe me? Journey to the Black Mountain Cave and seek him within. She handed me my hat and flung at me my scarf. She cut me two pieces of bread, not wanting me to starve. She bid me, at once this house you will leave, and do not come back until you're brighter, and you believe. Well, indignant I set out, stomping along the road, but strangeness seemed to follow me along my path as I strode. First I met a black bear, that was covered in green hair, and he offered me a ride. He seemed to know where I was to go, so halfway on him I sat astride. He ran with me fast, until at last we came to an enormous tree. Flown down from her nest was the face quite earnest of a huge osprey looking at me. Well, I took to her back, and she flew me up the mountain black, and then she dropped me at the mouth of the cave. Seek you that within, she said with a grin. He'll teach you to behave. I swallowed hard. I calmed my breath. I steeled my nerve. I entered the cave and walked the tunneled paths that twisted and curved. I came to a chamber that opened wide, filled with light. On the walls were draped holly boughs, like any yuletide delight. But they were frightfully accented with small skulls and bones, and all manner of fleshy trophies stolen from town folk homes. 
on the throne amidst this strange scene sat a grinning Krampus, his face both jolly and mean. If you have been sent, I bet I know why. You have a mood that makes your mother cry. Your heart is hard to the magic of Yule. Come here to me, child. This once I'll be your school. He held aloft a verdant green bough and said to me, Look now. The magic of Yule lies in the alchemy of change. The world dies and is reborn in eternal exchange. Among the death and the chill of winter, there is this jolly thing, a reminder of life and growth, this bough so evergreen. We flare the candles and string the lights to remind ourselves of the sun warm and bright. We greet our family and friends with joy and gratitude alone. Unless, of course, you prefer to join my merry little band of bones. No, 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 no. Frightened, I said. My, my mother just sent me on a walk. He laughed and said, Well, good. I'm glad we had this little talk. Go back to her. Behave, be merry, be light and kind. For if you are not of good cheer on Krampusnacht, with my basket, I'll not be far behind. Howdy, sister. Uh, it seems that the last piece uh, was not introduced because uh, my friend Esmeralda was muted uh, while she was trying to introduce it. So I'm just going to do a double here and introduce the last piece and then introduce the next piece. So <clears throat> the uh, last piece was from a Krampus obsessed member of Twisted Hearts Puppet Works. That was Tanya Yeager with searching for Krampus. Now, this next piece. <clears throat> I'm going to go out and come in again. Hi, my name's Tiny Bob. What is the best way to appease rambunctious puppets stuck at home during COVID? Well, you treat them to a puppet show. Here is Kimberly Cotter Lemus.
Bonsoir, madame et messieurs. Bienvenue à la représentation de Pinocchio ce soir. Notice the exit signs. Turn off all cell phones. All photography and video recording strictly prohibited. Getain de baba arimasen. Show tanoshimi kudasai. Gracias y esperamos que disfruten la presentación de Pinocchio. Geppetto wishes for a real boy. What do you wish for, Pinocchio? In keeping with tradition, uh, the piece before uh, did not get introduced because uh, was, there was a muting problem, and this last piece uh, got introduced but uh, without a title. So I would just like to say that that was the wish. Yes, the wish. Now, if you like lasers, we have a treat for you because all the way from Florida, we have Kevin Michael Wesson, Rachel Poe, and Anthony Santaniello with. What love feels like. Feel it. Feel it. Goodbye.
what do you have to say for yourself? I'm sorry that I was muted. I got fur in my microphone. I have been sufficiently punished. Good. Now get out of here. Yes, sir. <clears throat> you have to teach them young or they won't behave. Hmm. Now then. Next up, we have a radical, biodynamic, visionary performance artist from Chicago. This video is inspired by their personal struggle contracting COVID. In, in pardon me, the writing is very uh, smudged down here. Uh, contracting COVID in March and their relentless persistence to survive. Here is here. Heraclitus, here Vernon, with yellow! Introducing Opera Bava Yellow and starring the pandemic puppetry, but the actors, the opera singers seem to be caught, confused even, uh, unable to see. Uh, I, 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 excuse me. I, Oh, my goodness, we, we, we have a, a, a strange disease somewhere. Uh, in? Uh, let's listen to uh, their change. The virus needs us to change. Uh, a virus, a strange virus has affected the apple. Oh no, there's the bird. What's wrong with the wise wait? Oh, the bird died? Oh, oh my goodness, the famous Pavarotto. Oh, the bird. Oh, I'm alive. Oh, wait, wait, no. what's happened to me? I'm the famous, oh, the famous, the famous, oh, the famous, oh, the famous.
conversation without them. Okay. Yeah. Of course, our clean translators. <laughs> we would never be able to translate what the crows are saying. Yeah. Freddy, and I'm with the Noogen X Puppet Company. And you know what? I'm going to be real here for a minute. I'm an old puppet, and I don't get used all that much. You know why? Because I don't really have a stomach. My stomach is just sort of fleece. There's no foam in there or anything. I just get kind of rolled up and stuffed in a box. And you know what happens sometimes? My arm rod gets stolen. This isn't even my arm rod. During that last piece, I had to rip off the tape from someone else's arm rod and stuff it in my wrist. These are the problems that old puppets face. And I would like to tell you about a new sir. Ah, someone is pulling my leg. S stop it. Oh, fine. I will get on with it. Huh. <sighs> this next piece is by a staple of Nasty British and Short. This mother and daughter team that make up Jabberwocky marionettes have been doing shows with Nasty British and Short for a long, long time. This next piece is a, a little piece, a little snippet from their winter puppet show. Here is Amber Marsh and Lolly Extract with Cosmic Snowball. Enjoy.
Muppet Show at the Peggy Notabart Nature Museum online Saturday, December 19th. Tickets available at the museum website. People who are watching this are possibly animals or fish, I do not know, with their eyeballs or without their eyeballs. Uh, this is our last piece for tonight. Now, uh, parting is such sweet sorrow, but um, I have a tuna melt in the refrigerator, so I do not mind it all that much. But you, you, oh for shame, you will not get to see any more puppetry from uh, this channel uh, tonight. I don't know, there might be some tomorrow or later on this evening. Um, I do not work for them. I just work for these people and these people are telling me to wrap it up. So with that, I would like to introduce this last piece. <clears throat> Here are two Chicago-based artists who create puppetry together, often for families and young audiences. Right now for us and for you, they have created a music video for musician Mr. Nick Davio's song, Tulane. Here are Will Bishop and Grace Needleman. Hmm.
and have all of the people come back out onto the screen and we could get a big uh, rousing um, group shot for everybody. Hey, there is everyone. Hey, all right. But I'm the only one that can talk. <laughs> so uh, on behalf of the Anogenics Puppet Company and also the producers who are Rough House and Lynx Hall and the Puppet Slam Network, I would like to thank you for uh, staying safe and staying home with us and uh, watching the Nasty British in short. And we will be back next year. And uh, please wear a mask and uh, socially distance and just be nice to yourself and to everyone around you. We're all going through the shit together. So uh, just give yourself a little, uh, you know, um, uh, love and do it a lot around. Um, that's it. Good night, everybody. Good pieces, everybody. Wonderful.